sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let him who has understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. This number is 666. Infernal greetings, everybody. Reverend Jack. And I wanted to discuss something. This is the year of the Olympics. In Canada, you know I love you, so don't take it personal. It's the Olympics itself and the bullshit that's going on on TV with the Olympics. The Olympics started out to be something nice and pure competition. Then the United States and the USSR, we had to take and turn it into a political thing. And then the Arabs turned it into a political thing with uh, killing the Israeli um, Olympians. Um, so we have raped the Olympics. And now if you look on TV, if you want to see further corporatization, the Olympics are further perverted. Okay, it's been a long time since there's been politics involved with the Olympics. I understand that fundraising needs to be done for the Olympic athletes and I'm all for supporting them and making donations. But I am not for the corporatization of the Olympics. And that's worse than the politicalization of the Olympics. Because the world no longer is a world. It is all owned by corporations. And now you'll see like McDonald's and shoe, and shoe manufacturers and this company and that company proud partners of the Olympics. Partners refer to partial ownership. And I'm sure some of them will come back and try to clean that up. But a partner has ownership. So they're owning some of the Olympians that are going to these games. Why the fuck can't the games be what they were intended to be? What they were designed to be? What they were originated to be? To see who the best athletes were. And actually, it didn't include the world. It only included Greece at one time. But the world's been included, which is cool, which is wonderful, and everything. Everybody's training and everything all over the world. And it gives the world something to come together about for a change instead of fighting over. But the world needs to take the Olympics back keep politics out of it and we need to kick corporations out of the Olympics or else it's no longer the Olympics. What it is, is it is a corporate picnic where they, where they show off athletes just so you'll watch for their commercials. So to, I'm telling you, get a hold of your your country's Olympic Committee and tell them that you're sick of corporations taking over the Olympics. That they need to go back to what they were. Human beings competing against human beings without any political influences and without any corporate influences. And hope we're not too late to stop the corporations from taking that. Because the Olympics were pure. Corporations have already corrupted governments. Governments aren't democracies or whatever anymore. Corporations are sitting down. CEOs and board mem and boards are sitting down deciding what goes on in the world. So let's have one pure thing where we can come together as a race of, of beings, human beings, and compete against each other, and let it be what it is for, competition and fun. So thank you. Until the next time, hail Satan, hail thyself. Who's the ball ready, motherfucker? Yo. 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 It's the
the feast of the blood was sent I leash the beast within I walk around with the strength of a hundred men To best the world before I count the ten Blood dripping from my canine like a thousand pen I was born ready, motherfucker